Roger. All right, we care to release, Herc? Good to release. Release. Okay, Herc is released. Roger. Herc's clear to transfer. Good copy. lens does not look super clean. <laughs> All right, turn the lights on in the water. Stations, Atlanta is clear of uh, Nautilus. Okay, copy.
Uh, control van deck, that's us all stop at five zero meters. Roger, we're taking over. Head down. Right. Sure, head down now, pull up. <laughs> Seeing a lot of tinophores, some siphonophores, squid. These squid are so cute. Oh. Just gonna kind of slowly creep up. It's kind of jumpy. How's the RVT doing up front? Everything looking good so far? Uh, yeah, we're all right. Daniel, you can go ahead there for a bit. Uh, it takes a couple more minutes of dial stuff in, but um, you're all right to go on the comms there. All right, thanks. All right, and for those of you at home who are watching, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are currently diving about a little less than 1,500 meters nice. below the ocean surface to Gale 13. We are currently in the Central Pacific Ocean, right outside the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. On this dive, our ROV Hercules is equipped with the laser dive bot by SETI Institute and Impossible Sensing. And this instrument will help us understand the chemical composition of interesting features on the seafloor. So, I am Daniel, I'm your SPL host this evening, and this morning, and as we get settled in with our other staff, we'll continue our round of introductions. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quick.
I like the way you say SBL host at the beginning. It sounds like we're about to start like a radio talk show. <laughs> does sound like NPR, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like with it. your morning voice. <laughs> I should have said by now. Yeah, Daniel, you have a, you have, you're doing great there. You have a good, great radio voice. Yeah, exactly. Very clear and yeah. It's, it's like a podcast or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> start an ASMR channel. Play smooth jazz on the radio and drive <laughs> Exactly. Home it does sound like it's about to be a smooth j jazz like morning radio show. <laughs> Okay, we're good up here. Uh, are we doing intros? Yep, Somebody we still that? are. Let's do it. Actually, can I jump in real quick? I just need to do a quick sleep for the dive, if that's yes. okay. Yes, sure. right, Thank you so much. All right, this is the audio sleep for dive H1961. UTC time is 10, 11, 15. Mark. And I'm Amber, your video engineer. <laughs> yeah, front row, you go first. I am Sarah. I am the Atalanta pilot this evening, or morning, <laughs> technically. <laughs> I'm Michael, the Hercules pilot this morning. This um, <laughs> I'm Cheyenne, the navigator. I'm Loopy, the data logger. I'm Lilo, the watch lead and science manager. My name is Sarah, and I'm Sarah without an H, and I'm the scientist. I am Pablo, and I'm here working with the laser dive bot. And I'm Kevin with the Applied Physics Lab, working with the laser dive bot. Full house tonight. Party. So, uh, laser dive bot team, is there anything specific you're trying to uh, focus on or achieve tonight? Yeah, we uh, we want to do uh, like we did last time, uh, opportunity science. So we're gonna uh, essentially be measuring in the background as uh, we traverse. Um, we prefer a three meter uh, altitude uh, when possible. Um, Mm -hmm. And uh, and if we do see a target that is particularly interesting for us, uh, which would be something pigmented, like a coral of some exotic color, uh, or some manganese suspect uh, target, then we would like to perhaps spend uh, a couple of minutes uh, on station there. Uh, Sounds good. Call it out when you see it. Thank you. And like I promised, I'm bringing out the big guns. I have my college lecture notes. Oh, <laughs> actually, my iPad's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> well, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, if you want to charge her, I have one right here. Are you not using it? Uh, no, my phone's 100%. Uh, that'd be great. Thank you. Hmm. Amber, see that flickering in this one? Maybe if I just uh, put it on something else and go back. Oh, it's in that one, too. Oh no! It's all of them. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. And watch that all night. Tilt at Atlanta's cam down. Oh. Are you looking at Herc? Is that what's happening? That's Herc's Zeus camera. Yeah. Just in is his bottom still? screen. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't see it in the top one. Or is it just the angle I'm looking at? It, it? It's just the. Uh, but the top one's got these nice lines over here. It's just your now. bottom screen, but I'm also seeing the bottom right of Atlanta cam. I guess I'm not seeing oh, it yeah. directly on mine. Um, do you mind hitting your, um, there's the dive salvo, but then there's also the special dive salvo that's all special the way. Special salvo. All special. the way to the right special. on the Special? That's the special one. This is dive. Does it make a difference? No, I've just flipped it back to deck to change the feed to those monitors, but it didn't do anything. On this one. Yeah, let me walk over and see what you're seeing. And that one is too.
Yep. Uh. Yeah, we can hear you. Thank you for that. <laughs> so we can go over this again when we're back on the ground, but just I am flying here. Oh. Where we are today is Geo 13, like like you mentioned, Daniel, and specifically there's this mound feature that's on the summit of the Geo. Um, when we have the laser dive bot on, we're always looking for interesting, whatever interesting topography we can find, uh, shallower than 1,500 meters, since that's the depth rating uh, of the laser dive bot. And we found this little mound, and so uh, we've been doing a lot of traversing things uh, or, or going up slopes from uh, west to east, and so today we're doing from east to west uh, because it looks like the ship can handle that and we'll back up in that direction. Um, yeah, so we're excited to see what we see. There's a decent little slope there, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what kind of geology is on the seafloor um, and, and hopefully see some interesting bio as well. Mm -hmm. And some interesting targets for the laser dive bot to take some readings of. Yeah. The, um, the Schmidt Ocean Institute just came across this really cool um, octopus nursery on mm. their dive, and I'm very jealous. Where was this? Uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah. I want to look at the video, oh, but I cool. can't, but, um, yeah. Ooh, my friend's on that one right now. Oh, nice. yeah? Send, to send me some footage. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah, someone is from it, my lab Does it not right load now. up Oh, here. um, maybe I can do, like, stills. Let's see. Bet it'll load. You have a license to look at this. This is work-related. <laughs> it is work-related. You're right, you're right. Promoting oh. ocean science to other institutes. What did you say they found? An, an, an interesting octopus? Or Octop octopus an garden. octopus nursery. There's like a bunch oh, of yeah, octopi. Cool. We and found one of like those. Been there, done that. Oh, seen those one of those in oh whatever. <laughs> we did that first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually know exactly what dive you're talking about because I don't know how many times this thing is. Well, well this they went back to separate 
cruises, and then yeah. one of them found you found the second one, or you saw found the whale fall. The whale one. fall was included. Yeah, in it. yeah. that was just <gasps> absurd. Oh my gosh! Oh, look wow, at all yeah, of them. The of that's I great. wish I could like put this on a screen somewhere, but like there's just a bunch of octopi that are folded in on themselves because I guess they're brooding. Is that what it's called? I don't mm -hmm. know, but looks like a bunch of um, basketballs. Yeah. That is Very so cool. neat, though. Yep, but yeah. if you like Nautilus highlights, feel free to check out uh, Okeanos and, and Falcor highlights yeah. as well. They're doing they're doing the same thing, basically, um, just in different areas. But this is really incredible. Oh my gosh. Yep, all in slightly different spots. Okeanos is going to be soon in uh, Alaska and, and along the... Uh, Aleutians too, doing some, I think some Gulf of Alaska, some Aleutians. Of 1438, of according to the sonar. Oh. Bunch of Alaska work, and uh, where's Falcor right now? I don't know where Falcor is right now. There. It's Costa Rica. Okay. Man. Yeah, this is just incredible, but that doesn't mean we haven't been seeing incredible things because no. we have been and very different. Yeah, very different areas. I believe uh, Ocean Networks Canada is also about to come up on the expedition as well. Yeah, uh, we are about to be there. Yeah, doing <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. So the next cruise is a mapping cruise out to. Mm -hmm toward Canada to do on sea. So it's literally just mapping, correct? Mapping, like, like to get up moving. there. Yeah, 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 so whenever we're doing a big repositioning like that, um, right. we'll do opportunistic mapping, of course, along the way. Because there are, you know, the sh straight shots that you can take between the major ports. And if you look on Google Earth, uh, and you see, I mean, much of what we know about the bottom of the seafloor is from satellite altimetry. It's kind of uh, rough, rough, rough estimates of what the seafloor, sea bottom looks like. And you can see like kind of blurry, large features. Mm -hmm. And then you also see all these more detailed lines that stripe across the ocean, if you look carefully. And those come in and out of places like Honolulu, you'll see lines going directly to all the other major ports. And uh, that's because those have, you know, that's where the sh where ships typically go. And so that's all been mapped. So Nautilus will make an effort to uh, contribute, right, to, to diverge <laughs> from those direct point A, point B, point A to B um, tracks and, and map other, other stuff along the way. So we're about uh, 30 minutes from the bottom. Awesome. Woohoo. We're gonna, it's about 1450 meters. So shallow water dive. <laughs> well, we haven't seen anything. So a bunch of squid there for a moment. Past oh, that. yeah. And the uh, couple teen wars. Yeah, the squid. That was yep. We were jelly-like things. Nothing with a vertebrate, a vertebra. Ver yeah, spine. Not that I noticed with a spine <laughs> with vertebrae. Vertebrae. There we go. Vertebra is like singular. A single. Yeah. But um, 
Not much time until the bottom, so we'll see. And for those of you who are wondering about the live data, uh, it is now up on our website, and I was able to fix that. So you can see the depth of Hercules in Atalanta. Oh. I'm also decaffeinated this morning. I did not make my tea. I like how baseline is not just like, you know, uncaffeinated. You're decaffeinated. You're decaffeinated. You're negative. Somehow <laughs> negative caffeinated. Well see, I'm not I don't normally drink like coffee or tea, so I uh -huh. guess it's I guess uncaffeinated would be the better term for me. <laughs> but, but other maybe folks for others are like, I'm it's decaffeinated. decaffeinated. <laughs> but um yeah. Normally, I would have some underlying baseline <laughs> caffeine so level. I don't even have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, siphonophore? And yeah, it's I gone. missed it. Looks blink like a blink and you miss it. <laughs> I thought I saw something gray, like, breach the surface one day, and I was like, nah, because it was half a second. So. Yeah, you did mention that. We'll never I, know. I keep thinking about it, but yeah, it's just, it's lost forever. So on our broadcast, so we have many people around the world tuning in. And as most of the world begins to wake up, we will be having more. So, so far we have Australia, the United States, the UK, Israel, Hong Kong, Denmark, Portugal, and Panama all represented here. Woohoo! Thanks everybody for tuning in. Yeah. It's always fun knowing we have so many folks from all over yeah, really. joining us concurrently. Oops. In fact, uh, one of our ship navigators is from Panama. So shout out to Oriole upstairs for helping steer the ship. Woohoo! Ship navigators from where? Panama. Ah, Panama. the uh, mates, one of the officers. Yep. Yes. I don't know if you're doing that on purpose. Hmm. Got Amber flicked on. I think you had Amber flicked on. Oh, you did, okay. Amber, thank you for the valiant effort going to great lengths up in the front row to try and do something with the flickers. And for putting music in the Bluetooth. I don't think it'll be quite so bad when we have more colors to look yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. It's probably just especially apparent right now. Yeah. I feel like it's most torturous for you, Hannah, for it sitting right in front of it. It is. Apparently, I'm not sensitive to it. I've found out by now. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Dan's the same. Yeah. 
Wait, what's the issue? The lasers aren't strong enough? No, nope. see, it? see, it can't so be that. Sarah's, huh? Sarah's not sensitive to it. She Wait, I don't, no, 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 I don't, I don't know. Oh, this this uh, <laughs> down here is pretty pronounced in that one. They're flickering. Oh, I see. Oh, no, I see it now. Man. Oh, gosh, <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. You, you were very uh, determined to know, so. I'm sorry. I should have <laughs> stayed naive. <laughs> We're at about 20 minutes from the bottom. Woohoo! Okay. What are we ex what are we expecting or what do you think we're going to see when we get down there? Oh yeah, are we putting bets in? <laughs> oh, um hmm, right when we get to the bottom, sandy. Sandy. We I guess I don't know, who knows if we'll see some are of that carbonate stuff. Are we supposed to be at the base up. of the gear? Um, so it's not the base of the guillotine. It's there's this tiny little mound on top of the summit of the guillotine. Oh, okay. That works. Okay. So we're going to the base of the mound on the summit. Got it. So we're going down. But there's almost like a little moat action around it, although yeah. we're not really on the moat east side. Okay. Here I'll show you. All right. Then if we're on the summit of the mound Here. of the guillotine. So this is oh, all I the see. summit of the guillotine yeah, yeah. there, and then that's a little mound the on mound. top of it. Okay, I'm going to say not little rocks, but medium-sized rocks. Oh, you're going rocky. All right. No, well, if it's oh, Don't let top, me talk you out of it. No, but I'm trying to think. <laughs> now I'm trying to use physics. If it's oh, don't it's do top. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with eroded rocks. Okay. <laughs> The chances we come I'd expect we're going to see more <laughs> carbonates up there. Um, but yeah, if anyone listening has any questions about what we're doing, things we'll be seeing, now's a great, wonderful time to put those in. Yeah, we can do full speculation with zero yeah. knowledge of what will be in there. <laughs> you can with us. <laughs> Suppose not zero. Can make educated guesses. So what do we see on our previous dive a few hours ago? Some like That's like asking recap. what we had for breakfast. No idea. <laughs> I know, fish. I was that like uh -huh. It's a bat bat fish. Fish. Like yes. yes. Oh, on our last watch, yes, we yeah. did see. Yes. You're right. We saw a bat a bat fish swimming. That was very cool. Um, we saw actually really interesting rocky features with canyons in them. Yeah. And the that canyon, canyon was cool. little canyon features had tons of big coral fans like every, in them. Everything that we've seen High on diversity. the dive was in that. Exactly. Canyon. It was in it's featured really cool. there with tons of soft corals and uh and some interesting sponges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was actually that was actually great. Mm -hmm. That dive so we started cool. out a little deeper mm -hmm. and made our way up. Well, let's see. I want to say 2,200, but I think we actually started even deeper than I think, that. I think it was about 24, 23, 24, something yeah, like that. 24. And then I don't know how far along our track we actually successfully made it before coming up, but at least 1,600, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think I was most excited about those coraliverous jellies that we collected. That was yeah. That was exciting. They were way smaller than I expected, but I also like I don't know why I expected them to be bigger. <laughs> they think eat one polyp at a time. For the first time, those were about about the size I was thinking they were gonna be, <laughs> and it was very felt way better than the one time that we tried the first time we tried to collect them uh, yeah. when we were still. So we are the first. We are the first ROV cruise of the season. So there's still things that get sorted out in the beginning, and one was the slurp jar alignment was not right. quite right on our first dive. So right. we, I looked and looked and looked in the jar, and I was like, maybe they're just way tinier <laughs> than I thought. When we thought like the sediment was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like that rust spot at the bottom of the slurp jar. That's gotta be it. <laughs> 
Um, and for size reference, for anyone wondering, it's like kind of the tip of your pinky. That's how big yeah. they were in like diameter. Depending on how big your pinky is. Yeah, as I'm saying. <laughs> maybe my pinky, but I don't know about yours. But small. It was pretty small, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's small. They looked like uh, gummy snacks. Mm-hmm. Tried to show Hannah Ford, like, hey, look what you collected. <laughs> he feigned, feigned excitement. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right. <laughs> He's like, I've seen cooler. Uh, yeah, the little jelly things. Yeah. <laughs> did both of them end up being in they there? They did. Yes. They were both in there. Yeah, it must have been on the, on the mesh or something. Do we have a pencil sharpener on board? Oh. And you know, you were the second that. person to ask me that today, <laughs> funny enough, and uh, we always have had one, like one of the big ones, but I, I haven't looked for it. Is so there one maybe in like the lab or yeah, something? Yeah, data lab, I would look what's in there. Yeah. Well, because a mechanical pencil ran out of lead, so you got to use these pencils, but they're oh, so no, dull. Are there not more in there? No, they're oh, we gotta pins. get We got to get uh -oh. one out of the lab. We got tons in the lab. I have some pens if you want that. No, because if I, I'm not going to, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to have so many scratches yeah. as much as I erase, so I'd rather not. My friend gave me Thank an erasable you. pen. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I, 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 I bought those, those too. Yeah. It's like a In cute. middle school. <laughs> oh, oh, I what use are you them now to say? still. I was say, yeah, well, I use them <laughs> now for college. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like for me, there was just like a big... It was a big moment when that was the cool thing a to have in middle school. Yeah, yeah they're erasable pens. <laughs> I don't understand how they work, actually. I don't ask questions. Sure. <laughs> it's cool, gotta have it. <laughs> mm -hmm. How old were you during the silly band phase? Does oh my god, oh. yes. How um, old were you? Were you all fifth way grade. younger? Okay, it was younger for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> Everyone's got their trends. You know, I used to love them. The, I find it interesting because I lived in Hawaii during that time, mm. and I like asking people who lived in different states. Yeah, and it's always, it's like, always different mm, times. No, it's actually for silly bands, it's the same it's time. It's the same, yeah. Yeah, if sense. I ask really? one of my classmates, like, did was silly bands a thing in third grade? They say yes. And, and it's very entertaining. Everyone else is like, what's a silly band? I know it's a weird, there was a weird <laughs> moment that when, I don't know where anyone procured them, but all of a sudden, they just, every, they appeared in like grocery store, uh, like, you know, quarter machine type mm -hmm. things. They're just these useless were, rubber bands mm -hmm. that were in fun shapes when they weren't on your wrist. And even, <laughs> this is the last we'll talk oh, about it jelly before going back to science, but even Shakira had like an album cover with silly pants <laughs> on her arm. It was ridiculous. <laughs> there was a nice jelly where the um, the Niskins were, but didn't come up on the regular cameras. Big old Medusa. Cool. What color was it? Translucent. It was probably the size a bit bigger than the the ball holder. The ball. The the, the Niskins. Oh wait, push cores, I'm push sorry. Push cores, push cores. I was like, Niskin ball. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind. Can you find Cyphozo in here? Do you know where it is? They do not have it. It's not in this. No. What? But I could yeah, because I, I was I the same as you, but they don't have them. What? Oh wait. Wait, but I found it in the guide before. Hold on. There's tenophores, hydrozoans, there's... Oh, it's a hydrozoan, that's why. Because it oh, is a yeah? hydrozoan. Yep. Oh. Aginona, hydrozoan. That's why it has the weird okay. tentacles. Right, right. Because, yeah. yeah, I was about to say, it looks very similar to the weirdo mm. that we saw. Yeah, right. Like, in terms of... That yeah. it's not quite... Are they... Have they asked for anything in particular as we back up, or is it it's looking pretty good right now? Um, Bridge says that everything looks good. All right, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty pretty benign weather compared to the last couple yeah. of nights. So we should be good. Uh, just the only 
the only little hitch is that if it does lose it, it loses right. it into the into slope, the but it's heading. not, you know, it's not super steep or anything. All right, everybody, sand. Two, two for two. Zero for two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll give a second for gauge checks and white balance and such. Yeah, we still got to get uh, flipped around under, under Atalanta yep. and do that stuff. And we can, uh, whenever they pull the claw out, check still cam. And I'd like to, when we're, when there's something in front of us, try again the, or even the intervalometer, see if we can get that to work. Can you um, put the auto heading on Atalanta there? And take an extra second to, um, take out a turn that we've had in for a couple of days since we had that kind of dead vehicle moment a couple of days ago. All right, auto headings on. Living with. All right, all right, I'm gonna take this out. Just stay there. Okay. Hopefully I can do it from here. numbers. Okay. Wow, there's, I think there's quite a bit of current here. Okay, coming out of the northeast again, uh, sort of? It's the nor yeah, north? I think so. I'll get, it, I'll get it exactly in a second here. Okay, so we're going to mark negative one turn all right, so log that in the book, would you, Sarah? Negative one turn, reset to zero. And then move the Atalanta heading when you're ready there. Mm-hmm. We'll see when we're still uh, like eight meters off bottom, yeah. And then um, okay. bring that, we're going to go west, right? Bring the Atalanta uh, yes, heading. Yes, 260. Okay, take up 260 heading. All right. Uh, can I start the DVL? Yeah, go ahead. All right, auto heading. 
going on. Two six zero. Okay, I gotta go around the other way. All right, okay. DVL's good. Oh no, 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 this way. Never mind. Oh, is it coming out of the okay, west? Okay, that's that. I'm just going to hold here and do the white balance, yep. so we'll probably see then. So I've just been driving the whole time. It's hard to tell. Yep. You can see the laser on in Atlanta Cam for those watching. Oh, what's going on on the... Oh, no, no. no. What? Why is it, f is it foggy on the inside of the dome? Oops. Better not be. Hopefully it's poor lens cleaning. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. It's not fog. I don't yeah. think so. Okay, outside. The other, the Atalanta was not was cleaned that? off either. Yeah, so I wonder if they just missed that step. Oh. What? Oh, that's no oh, plane. This is okay, zoom in. Oh. Hold on, chasing this around. Just a second. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go dark real quick this PC. Um, don't forget to change at the bottom, 6-1, and starting four zeros and one. Okay. Oh man, that's awful. Uh -huh. And then a one. Mm -hmm. Looks like those settings are all messed up and back to the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you good to go there? Yep. For now, yeah, yep. Yeah. And point three is fine, uh, if science is fine with it for now. Wow, uh, look at sure. the current. Oh. Yep, fine with that for now. All right, let's see All where right that's coming see. out of. Yeah, northwest, maybe? Something north, really. I think it's more like north, isn't it? It's hard to see with all this dirt. I know. Man, I didn't notice that until now. That is no, you painful. can't until, like, in the water column, everything's yeah. too far so away. At least it's a short dive. Yeah, honestly, with that, I think we it's out of the north. It's hard to tell. North-ish. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Am I noting that, Loopy? Yeah, man. Ready. Well, now it's extra good that we have the laser dive bot on because yeah. the imaging is not going to be good yeah. on this whole dive. Oh. Got good still cam Oh, we have the least. stills cam. Yeah. So, Amber, can yeah. I get the stills cam instead of this deck cam? I think I can live without that. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, we'll have to rely on that really That's heavily yeah, tonight. Yeah, a bit more, yeah. All right. It's not awesome when we're higher off bottom, but should be good closer up. Yeah.
Well, there's something in the center there. <laughs> I, I think. Maybe extra <laughs> guesswork today. Yeah. Whatever you. Oh, sorry, Amber, not, not there. I want that pilot camera, but maybe like on the the deck, the little the little one up oh, above the it. Gauges? The no, oh, the gauges. No, or take the little gauges away. Yes, because we have a big one there. Yeah, that's the better. Oh, okay. Whenever you're ready, if we could head a bit lower. Roger. Ship is moving. Maybe keep it at about the three for the dive bot team or so. I'll just full screen it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, we got a bit of sand, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Like a white. Well, it yeah, might be a yeah. good time for Sarah to fly if she's interested. Always interested. Got about 300 meters of sand. So. Now you get to do it with the foggy screen, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. extra there challenge. Go. Oh, yeah. Just go straight. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Bird's like, I'm over it. Who wants to drive yeah. this thing? <laughs> I don't want this one anymore. Trade. Done. Your camera looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully there's nothing super interesting on this dive, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we are, we're not hoping that. But yes, yeah, Megan will be very don't sad don't if don't I say that. We'll be hoping that. Or <laughs> surprises of all kinds. Well, I, I, I'm sure Mike can pick up an urchin and just rub it against the glass. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was like, what can we do? Sand, like stuff, stuff our face in the sand? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well. In the, in the good cam. Yeah. OK, there let's get go. cool things in Atlanta cam. How about that? And the still or, cam as well. Or the still cam or the downwards cam. Yep. What is that one called? The one that's facing downwards? Where are you looking? That one? Right. Atlantis cam? No. Or the one. Oh, oh, pilot cam is what okay. they call that one. Yeah. There are good ways out in front there, Sarah. So just mm -hmm. take it easy or come back a bit. But, uh, Atlantis aren't really moving it. I would say we should. Zoom on this whole three in here. Yeah. This one? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. back up a little uh, bit. That doesn't look like a whole three in. We're okay. Is it not? Can't Kinda. think of what else it would be. Maybe. And you then how far down or how far off do um, we want to stay? Around three meters when we're kind of trucking it through the sand, I suppose. Three meters? Mm-hmm. That's the dive bot's preferred That's altitude, the dive is it? bot's preferred altitude, Okay, yeah. so I had it on auto altitude for you for that. It'll hunt yep. a so little bit, but three and should a half. be pretty good. Yeah. For us, we like three. Three. Let's come down a little bit. I can tweak the auto for you if you like. Sure. Okay, come back a little bit. Surprised we didn't notice this on uh, on her cam when we were. You hey. can't really see it yeah, looking you out can. into That's the water. Saying, we saw it a little in Atalanta as Atalanta was going off, but I didn't notice it in her. I uh, looking at the camera like when I was doing deck work, I had yeah. no idea. I know it's, that's really frustrating. That's unfortunate. I'm just kind of spinning. I must be at the end of my tether. Yeah, so yeah, use your nav screen then. Think so, Cheyenne? Just kind of backing up for a minute. I don't know that it'll do much good, but if we get into a position where we can Zoom on one of these. Come on, turn, turn. Uh, sort of Hall shaped things. 
I don't know if you can see in still cam anything. It's yeah. There, there to the, it's to the left, if you're able, but I know you said you might be at the end. Pretty, pretty strong out there. Yeah. And I can't really hear that well. Did I hear something to the left? Um, yeah, but if you're at the end, it's, I mean, if you need to get ahead, it's all right. Oh. I'll turn that up. Yeah, I gotta back up. I'm trying to turn around to catch up to Atalanta. It's getting drug. Yeah, no problem. Oh, like, yeah, oh, that one. Oh, it's cucumber. <laughs> All right. Go forward now, catch up. Move. Oh, there's a fish. Maybe yeah, an shrimp. Urchin? Shrimpy. Um, yeah, shrimp, something on the... Right. Yeah, I can't tell if those are urchins. Um, what's going on here? Not sure. There we go. Okay. Oh, sea back cucumber. Yeah. Maybe zoom on that friend. Uh, oh, gosh. I hope zoom is in me. Oh, yeah. Horribly. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be great. But yeah. we'll see what we're working on. No. So we can do the laser bot. Do I need to like set down or just keep going? Do you want me to try and do a zoom here? Or um, uh, we can try. Okay, oh, just let me know so when sorry. you're in a good position. We'll see. Holder still. We can try, see what it looks like. Okay. Like wow. It's not. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Oops, let's go. I don't know why I thought it's all right. <laughs> getting closer up would be any better. No. What is that? Yeah, a little so sponge, maybe? Maybe. Can't and tell, though. We need something to be going on. Sea cucumber. Oh. That's all right. It's all right. All we can yeah. zoom out. Oh, no. Just truck through the sand. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, she's yeah. Let's see. Let's go down. Oh, did you like get something in still cam? Looks like a weird flat CQ. Yeah. Like right. a flat okay. round. Kind of like a whoopee cushion. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of turn around. Yeah, still Kim will be more helpful when we're lower down. I know. For now, it looks like there's not a ton of no. sea cucumbers. Well, and once we get going on the uh, slope, though, the still camera yeah, will be good. Yeah, it will be helpful. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It won't be a, oh. it'll get better. Get yep. Better. We, we'll make lemonade. We will. We'll, yes. get, we'll get way more still, yeah, still camera we shots. We will. Yeah, I noticed it on Atalanta as soon as we turned them on and that was when it was going going over, though. Yeah, that's the it's only like, time oh, I saw it, too. Bummer. Now I'm kicking myself. I'm like, yeah. we almost wish we checked. Oh, But we couldn't have, really. Yep. A bit late, then. Yep, would have been late. Yeah. Hard to say what to do there. Herc's yeah. in the water by that time, anyway. Right, yeah. Uh, pan to the right. Yeah. Uh, whatever this is. You said it's about... 300 meters or so worth of sand to get to anything rocky yep okay which one was it uh either of them i guess i think that's <laughs> the sea cucumber, cucumber to the right. right and the left i don't know what oh that but is. it looks like it has i oh don't know that's uh, oh it has its little things out you I try and like sit down and look at it um or how am i so if you want to sit, I you got your auto heading or yeah. altitude. So if you do that, just turn it off first. Yeah. And then. Come down. 
feel like that's the only way you'll really get to see is with the... Go down. Careful, you might sit on it. Oh, <laughs> that's no. okay. Who's got it? Okay. Gently. I have no yeah, idea what's beautiful. sticking out of that. So that sponge. almost looks like a rock with a sponge nice. Nice. on it. Mm -hmm. it oh no, no, it looks like a um, brachio. A Is it a brachiopod? But it, it's sticking so far out of the sediment, but it looks almost like a brachiopod. Let's see. Uh, or a sponge. It's a sponge on a dead stalk oh, of something, sure. maybe. Ooh, it looks like a brain. Yeah, it's a very brain. interesting sea cucumber. <laughs> yeah, sea cucumber that looks like a brain in the still cam. Yeah, my... Oh. Should I, am I in a position where I can oh, try doing the zoom yet, or no? <laughs> oh, it's it's folded in on itself. Folded in. Tuck and roll. Aww. Yeah. Tuck and roll, really. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, so put Amber, that on the... it might be helpful tonight to I have this. I can't hear you. Aww. Yeah, there is no... Might be helpful tonight to have still cam going out live. Yeah. <gasps> it's we'll puking! Down. Wait. It's oh, puking! Okay. He comes, he's rolling. Rolling towards us. It puked a bit. We oh scared it. <laughs> yeah, that's Getting not... good pictures of that. That's cool. <laughs> that's so funny to Bye. see it tumbling over. Tumbleweed. Oh, that's not gonna do nothing. Oh, All right, so we can. Uh, All right, we're good. Keep moving. Okay. So I have a question, Sarah. Mhm. Mm so all those pictures that the still cam mm -hmm. took are those all saved, or you had to like just choose one and go with it? Yeah. So when we take still cam pictures, um, just centering. They are saved. Um, they are. They all get pulled through. automatically yeah, onto yep. somewhere on the network. Filter through and put uh, on. In the gallery. There you go. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Bump up. That's its little puke pile. And we'll start to go. But yeah, interesting sponge. Don't know what it is. But, uh. texture was so weird though it's so hard to tell without being able to yeah. zoom further you know whether it's sponge or a weird <laughs> colonial tunic yeah. or something it had that yeah it had like a how would i say like mm. circular yeah which patterns. is kind of like not particularly spongy no something right. to the right there <laughs> yeah but i think it might be the same thing mm-hmm Get under Atalanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this actually looks like the same thing too. We're seeing a lot of this. Mm -hmm. I'm very uh, curious. Actually, what that, that is. looks. That's the same. Pretty sure. Looks sticky, uppy. More. Less like a paddle. But. But I think that it's a flat form thing that we're seeing mm -hmm. from the side. You know. Just don't wear. When you're True. out ahead again, um, Sarah, or yeah. in a good spot, if we could. Look at Try one of on the another one of what we were just up close to. Ooh, they seem okay. to be all over Any the place. Any of the things like sticking up. That, yeah. for example, is another one. Yeah. Try it up over here. Well, we can see it in, in still cam a little better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This little guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we could get a little closer to it since we can't zoom on still. Yep. Perfect. Well, that one that doesn't look like it has yeah. anything on top of it. Different, different. Okay. Huh. Um. Yeah, I can't see anything growing off of that one. Very no. strange. All right, that's good. Thanks. Okay. Up. See if we can find another one for you. Amber, I don't know if huh. you wanted to put a.
still cam going out live since we'll probably be IDing and referring to Through mostly here, that, yeah. this dive. Can do. Looks like there's something sticking up off it. Yeah, Maybe something tiny. Yeah. But these look spongy. But it looks like I don't know though. Or like it actually? wouldn't be spongy growing out of sediment. Right. I don't know what it is and they're all the same. They're all like similar height brownie. Hmm. Yes. Ooh, fish oh, and Atlanticam. Yeah. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Can't tell. Uh, Not moving much. Got another fish. fish. Oh, there's another yep. one in front of us. Same one, same type it looks like. Yeah, looks. Oh, except this one's moving. This mm -hmm. looks. Oh, there's two, actually. Oh, a couple. Don't know what it is. <laughs> um. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't I quite see a see. fin, but maybe. Is this a Allosaur? No. Don't you sure? The head looks a bit too. I think the head looks pointy. Actually. Ah, uh, it's gone. Let's oh. see. Oh. oh, he's right All on good. the porch. Oh, he uh, touched oh. my arm. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is it. That's good. Thank you. Um, it's so hard from that angle. That's, yeah, tough. Uh, um, let's see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, now you can all see the still cam. Woohoo! Let's see. Oh, this is another one of these oh, those yeah. sponges. If you can set down there, maybe. Sure. I don't. Or I don't think whatever it's a it sponge. Is. Yeah, whatever squishy this is, thing. I think. I'm gonna say squishy thing. And I'm wondering if it retracts into that tube. That would be really cool. You know, since some of them are out and others are not. Well, well it's like a tunicate. Sorry, got a little Perhaps. dusty. That's all right. It's okay. Still see better than the <laughs> that camera. All right, let's see. Uh, I can try and lift out. up and kind of go yeah, make go the around the other uh, side ISO. too. ISO down. Oops, sorry, wrong way. No, you were right. All right, let's see. Man, I feel like this process is so yeah, it's different stressful now. now that's going out for you. Huh? That's good, thanks. Yeah. Um, let's see. Can Very you zoom smooth. any closer? It like looks almost tuna kitty. It does, but the tuna kits we've been seeing are well, at least the ones that I've seen on yeah, the, our it looks watches. like a colonial. But I don't know what that stem is about. Right. Very thick stem. You said it might be a, a dead stem that colonized on? It's so know. hard to tell. To have no clue. And the fact that we're seeing so many of these on top of those exact stems does... Other make fish coming up. Um, That's a shark. Ooh. Oh, that yeah, looks like a that. shark, it's yeah. That is a shark. Oh. You see how every single one of these, this one has yeah. also got, yeah, I think it. we should, you Same know, thing. actually, if we could st stop the ship, perfect, then I would actually love to try and sample one of these and we can get a closer look at it in real life. Is sure. that shark? Oh. Yeah, are we doable? Moving a little. I'm trying to get up next to that. What are we trying to sample? Um, this thing this in front thing of us. This thing that we've been pseudo-zooming on. 
this. Just kind of inching my way towards it. I wonder if I can change my, where is it? There we go, there it is. second I'm gonna try and make my mouse a bit easier to see it to be a little closer Michael or that should be good should be good okay just gonna gently set down right now okay nicely done and I can barely see through the all these the filth. depth uh, no not depth uh, stick lock so you uh, go like hard there down we go. And you might need to put some forward on normally, but it seems okay, so you probably leave it alone. Just keep an oh eye yeah. on it. Yeah, all right. Let go. Look at this. All right. Yeah, it's a good shot. Very cloudy. All right, stay there. I think. I'm thinking not sponge nice because right. there are so many and they're okay all, uh, right. all and yeah. on one of these stocks. We'll see. But it, it almost doesn't look like it, too, but it almost looks dead whatever it's going it's on so you trying to sample so the whole works of it or yeah the whole thing so what's great. the what is it exactly what we have no idea no it's idea. hard from the imagery i think we can get away with a grabbing grab because we have the to core snip the coral snips on yep yep i think it'll be good going for the base of that we can take take the whole thing all righty um are you relying on the still cam much right now uh yeah i'll no, yeah. probably use it all right. Uh, but go ahead, do what you got to do. That's what I say, just let me know. I'm going to see if I can change my mouse so I can maybe point to some oh. things. Oh, this is probably not going to be that helpful, huh? 132. What about the bubbler? Can you draw yeah. that? Yep. Let me. Nothing this super guy. useful there. Oh, there it is. I feel like a red thing. Let's zoom in with the bubbler. Go down a little. Yeah, so a bit lower down. I know you're still getting situated. That'd be great. Uh, oh, it's like almost out of reach. Oh no! It is out of reach. Uh, oh, so close. I think I can get it. You got it. And we'll just put oh. it in forward bio. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Like oh got top wow. Like taking out the roots. Oh, roots. incredible. Forward box. Sample or the We're gonna need so these straight out, and I'll move the camera. Rack your camera back. Yeah, those will have to be our sample photos on this Down. one. <laughs> right so we, up. Yeah, you've got a really important job this time. I, I got it. I'm on it. It's like holding cotton candy. It's my duty. This is really your start of your photography career. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there Good we job. go. You're taking over my job. Okay, just come up a little with the. What am I looking at here? Is the zoo zoomed at all? You zoom out? Oh, there we okay, go. Okay, no, it's wide. Just, uh, that's okay. Okay. Pretty good Very shot. interesting. So, oh, that is way bigger than I Whoa. thought. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, what? Cotton candy. Yeah, it is like no a way. Oh, my God. Wait, that did not look that enormous. No way. <gasps> what? Nice is grab. that a star on it? <laughs> oh, they're going to kill me. I think there's a star <laughs> on it, I mean too. me. They is us. Yeah, there's a star. So either. that's a sponge then with these bissel threads, I guess they must be. In my defense, the amount of giant rocks that they have collected. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to be drying a large portion of that. That is so much bigger than I thought. Yeah, I don't think we have a Actually, it's looking that. better now that it's closer to the 
but closer to the when it came in at first. Is that <laughs> no? All close to the camera. I thought it was huge. Yeah, uh, it looks. That's actually reasonable. <laughs> it kind of looked like it had concavity to it. There's no way it could be like polyopagon, right? No, but it's some kind of. This I is know, wonderful. One of the sponges like with thistles, the reds of some kind. But I okay. haven't seen many sponges that grow in the sand like yeah. that. So it's really cool. Oh my gosh. So yeah, and Lupi, you can say in the description sponge with thistle threads from sandy terrain or something like that. A whole sponge. So for most of the sponges we've seen, they haven't attached themselves to sand like that? No. no. This like has Boxing. sand roots. Boxing. You said with wet right. threads? There we go. Bissell, um, B-Y-S-S-A-L. Oh, there we go. Kind of watching it go. Oh, keep going. I don't know. Are you guys uh, okay? With yeah, that? that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh. oh got some hanging out. Ah, here. This is it. Oh yeah. Ceracolophus. Oh, it's a pheronemid. Right. That's oh, a we'll ceracolophus that. pheronemid species okay. one. Okay. All right. Okay. So you want me to put that in the description? Yeah. Sorry. Yay. I think. Guess I should have awesome. should have looked at the. <laughs> As I'm to say. I really wasn't thinking sponge, uh, though. If all your autos are off, she can reset your DBL. Yep. Or your auto X1 and your depth. All right. We're set. Yes, please. All right. Now I'm going to catch up. Woohoo. Oh, maybe. Great. Well, right now there's, you know, can you uh, zoom out a little on that, G? Yeah. Yeah. One doesn't feel particularly descriptive, no. so oh, sorry, I think it's probably either way helpful to be able to have a For sure. another specimen of this. Turn back. That, that was a big sample. That was big. <laughs> it wasn't as big as it looked at first, coming that in was, like right uh, next to Zeus. But. Very uh, impressive. <laughs> uh, did you rack the camera back out? Yes. Okay. Or centered it. Yeah. No, like oh. rack out. No. Okay. I didn't know. I'm doing it. Okay. Thank you. It's funny because most of the around. sponge samples are just like a little haircut. Yes, under. <laughs> so we got the whole thing. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. I get it, guys. It was bigger than I thought. Decapitated sponge. Here. Coming out in a minute. It's yeah. so hard writing with this pencil. <laughs> Come up a little more. Oh. To the right. Ready back here. Ready, ready. Right. Ready. Make my way. Ground fault. Wonder if it's just from the arm. Maybe so. All right, I've changed my pointer. So now we can all see when I'm oh, <laughs> circling yeah, <that> something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, there's something right oh. below. Oh. I don't know fish. if you're able to stop, sorry. Also a fish, yeah. I think right below us sure. looks yeah. urchiny, anemone. Kind of drop down. Turn Maybe off. just a rock. Urchin oh. or anemone? I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> the question for me every time. A little bit. Oh, that's all right yeah. then. Sorry, guys. That's no. okay. No problem. Back up. Some people in the SPL suggested to use the sponge to clean the lens. Mm -hmm. Oh, honestly. Mm -hmm. Now we we don't want to bring the nips right. that close to the to yeah. the dome. Yeah. All right. Expensive camera. Mm -hmm. That's a creative suggestion. It is. Though. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
anemone, mm. I think. Another cucumber, perhaps? Well, off to an eventful start. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that ground fault's on the arm. Okay. So a little update here from the laser team. Um, so as we have been traversing the sandy bottoms, uh, you know, we've been taking uh, data. And from our camera that yeah. is looking straight down, um, yeah. we're seeing the sediment, this uh, sandy um, material. It's been peppered uh, with all this black uh, or dark uh, yeah. stuff that you can see in the cameras. And uh, so in a few of our data points, we're seeing signals of what we think is beta-carotene. Oh. Beta-carotene is a pigment that is used uh, by most living organisms to protect against the UV from the sun. Uh, uh, in fact, the word carrot uh, comes from the carotene uh, name, and uh, which indicates already that the color is going to be something green, sorry, green, uh, <laughs> orange uh, and, and red. And, um, and this is one of the pigments that we are optimized uh, particularly to see. So it was pretty exciting for us to see uh, this pigment. So, of course, there is no UV light uh, coming from the sun uh, down here. Um, but uh, this material that you can see here in the bottom, this uh, organic matter, this is all dead uh, or uh, some organic uh, stuff that has been deposited down, uh, sedimented uh, through time uh, on the bottom. So it may be some algae, uh, some kelp uh, that had this uh, pigment uh, on the surface. And eventually, when it's going down, uh, it retains the pigment. It's pretty tough sunblock. So uh, that's what we're seeing here. So that's another exciting uh, first for us to, to see this pigment. So yeah. That is awesome to know because we have often wondered what the dark uh, organic matter is that's trapped in these ripples, where that's coming from. Yeah. So it's cool that that's like surface detritus that's maintained. Yeah. So much of that pigment. Really awesome. And you can see, I mean, there's a ton of marine snow. There's a lot come down. What is it called again? Beta carotene. Yep. Here. Beta. And, and, I'll, and I'll and write it in. In, in, in fact, uh, you know, f for us it's exciting because uh, one of the next uh, technologies to to be used in in carbon uh, sinking, uh, which means in getting atmospheric CO2 transformed into uh, carbon into the ocean and eventually uh, sank down into the seafloor for sequestration. Uh, so this is uh, all this kelp farming uh, algae mm -hmm. uh, development on the surface that will transform this uh, CO2 from the atmosphere via photosynthesis into uh, this organic species like carotene uh, pigments and eventually uh, being sunk down into the ocean for, you know, uh, being sequestered there, hopefully for 100,000 years, if not more. So it's one of the things that uh, governments now are starting to invest on is in these uh, technologies to accelerate remove, removals of uh, CO2 from the atmosphere uh, and make it into uh, organic uh, carbon in the ocean that can be uh, sequestered there in the bottom uh, for, yeah, forever, hopefully. Uh. Yeah, and it's... Uh like like Pablo mentioned, important that it gets sequestered below a certain depth. Otherwise, it kind of just gets recycled in the surface layer. Uh, matter gets broken down and recycled up there. But if it gets sinks below a certain depth, then it can be sequestered for a very long time. So Looking it's an important component. Shrimp. Oh, it is a shrimp. OK. Yeah, it looks this like is a huge. shrimp. Sorry. Oh. Also, if I ever circle something and you're not able to stop, just keep going. OK. <laughs> Good for another ship move.
So you have some questions coming in from the SPL chat. Uh, one question asked, is the bottom saltier than the surface of the water? That's a good question. It's generally pretty consistent. Uh, there are, like, if you look at, I think this goes out. Uh, hmm, can this be accessed? I don't, actually don't know if these things are can be accessed, but it's kind of hovering around around 34, 34 and a half um, PSU. So it doesn't change a ton, but when you're going, when you're in different areas of the ocean, uh, you can see at different depths, slight differences in salinity. It's because water masses, when they uh, first sink and and settle into the layers where they uh, where their density makes sense, um, they retain certain signatures. Uh, so water, for example, that sinks from near the Mediterranean has a particularly salty signature. Um, and you can track that then as that water mass uh, travels throughout the Atlantic and onward. You can track that water mass by that signature of its extra saltiness. And we're only talking about like, you know, minor one, two PSU, half a PSU, um, but the temperature uh, and the salinity mm. are, are defining characteristics of different water masses. So sometimes you can see those things. It's, it's through um, getting CTD data, conductivity, temperature, depth, um, conductivity, conductivity being salinity readings, um, that, w that oceanographers have been able to put together how different ocean water masses move throughout the ocean uh, is by going throughout entire ocean basins and and taking readings up and down up and down up and down of the whole water column with the ctd and seeing those slight differences in salinity and temperature um, and that's essentially what we're doing when we go down with hercules is we're taking measurements all the way down and all the way up um, of the salinity the temperature the dissolved oxygen uh, yeah, so we're not noticing too big a difference, but but the, there certainly are differences in different water masses. Small differences. That looks like Umbalula there. Do you want to stop and look at it, or all good? Just calling out an ID. I'm curious what these broken stock-looking yeah. things are. They're much more thinner and cylindrical. We don't need to stop on them, but. Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Seeing that too. Well, at least there's not much here. <laughs> Nothing with that attitude. We're gonna see cool stuff. <laughs> I said it's here. gonna be great. We're gonna make I said the most here. of it. <laughs> not the not when we get to the slope. So when you guys were like talking about <laughs> guesses at the bottom, I wanted to be like sand for days, sand but I was like, days. no, I don't want to. Don't want to manifest it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and be quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna, every time I'm gonna say coral meadow from now on, or crinoid meadow, there or something. There you go. Mm -hmm. Sponge city. <laughs> it is kind of sponge city. Mm -hmm. Kind yeah, of see like an octopus nursery or whatever though. Yeah. Oh, That'd be have to look for the hydrothermal vents. Yes. Oh, man. We're about 150 meters from the slow. Okay, halfway okay. there. Another urchin. Yeah, in front of that's us. an urchin. Yep. yep. I think it's. You can see between lines and Zeus yeah. that it is distinctly <laughs> urchin y. <coughs> oh, something floating. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh. Don't know what you were. What was the species of the urchin that we caught? during the previous dive that we caught oh, as one? it ran away from us at the high speed um <laughs> that yeah. was written down and i cannot remember it off the top of my head but i will try and find that now and get back to you yeah, yeah i saw a note on good thank you is your internet huh? working loopy none of my stuff is is loading. that the Oh, okay. Yeah, this is actually the local thing. Sometimes the local has weird, corrupted yeah. um, ones. 
I've noticed that for a couple of them. Uh, no, but it's, it's doing it's a weird no image thing for everything. I don't know oh, why. for everything? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Another one of those pheronemidids. Uh, yeah, I saw a note on the urchin working. that said it's venomous. Yes. Yes, That's interesting. it is. Well, when a similar thing was collected uh, on a previous expedition in this area, uh, someone handling the, the urchin actually had their hand get pretty swollen. So, Ooh. from after after touching it, so all precautions seems taken. Seems to be venomous in some way, or some kind of toxin. Huh? What was that? If I just floated by. On what? Still can. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at all three cameras. I know, trying to piece together a lot <laughs> from so many different cameras. I don't know. What did it look like? Don't know. Okay. It was fast. Right answer. We'll never know. It's interesting that there's so much of this one sponge. Like, we've been over tons of sandy flats. Uh-huh. We haven't seen any, any of this sponge yet. Yeah. But I guess we're... Shallower. I don't know. We've also been over shallow sandy flats before. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. What's different? Don't know. Also, a lot of detritus. I would expect more. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe not. But. And also remember that there might be a lot of things under the sediment that we can't see called infauna. So worms, mollusks, uh, bacteria, of course, that we can't see. And the best way to study that is by taking sediment cores. <laughs> Push cores this, that don't fall out. Yeah, which this sandy sediment is not particularly um, conducive to. Yep. But we've tried. He's tried. So another question that came in is asking how much of the ocean is explored? So, according to NOAA, between 5 and 10% of our oceans have been explored, and yet it's still, they're still out there and needs to be discovered. That's a big part of what we're doing here. Also, matters how what you mean when you say explored. If you mean mapped, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, 7-ish percent, a little less has been mapped um, in high resolution. But as, as far shark. as what's been dove on, you know, way, way less than that seen seen through a camera lens well, extremely little yep and roughly 70 percent of our planet is covered by water so less land more water there's a lot un under there that needs to be seen does ice count as land i'm assuming yes or no, no. nope Oh, does okay. not count as land. I figure it, it's kind of like a blend of the two because of how, say, like the well, up in the Arctic, ice is very seasonal, so you might have right impermanent surface. But in Antarctica, you know, there are many places where it's just been ice for millions of years. Well, of course it matters. I mean, Antarctica is a landmass, so it matters if you're talking about ice that's on top of a landmass mm -hmm. or or ice that is sea ice that is not on top of the landmass. There's also ice uh, shelves that are um, extensions of humongous, basically huge glaciers making their way, ice sheets um, making their way from the center of Antarctica outward. Um, and so some of those are technically over a little bit of water, but are very, okay. very thick. Thank um, you. Sometimes hundreds of meters. But I, 
still would not call that a land. No. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Quiet, barren. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it's not the time for a joke. It's not time for a joke. <laughs> no jokes. Oh. No laughter. Uh, I'm too tired to conjure up a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> the only joke I've ever remembered was like from when I was like 14 and worked at an ice cream shop. <laughs> People would come in with their kids and they're like, tell us a joke. And they're like, why was the tomato blushing? Um, Why? Don't know. Because it saw the salad dressing. It's <laughs> 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 the only one uh, I ever remember. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I've been holding on to it this whole time, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for my Perfect moment. Perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any in there. I don't have any. How much, how much more of this sandy stuff is there? Can't hear you. Are you muted? No, she's no, on. I'm, SPL. Oh, I'm just oh, wait, no, about just 100 meters. Meters. About 100 meters? Yeah. Are you thinking about picking up the pace? Well, I probably should have suggested that yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah. We could yeah, we maybe increase the next speed. move for the Light last speed. two moves or whatever, pick it up. <laughs> if, well, I mean, the is the weather still really down, right? Yeah, the weather's good, so okay. we can increase speed now. Let's do it. 2.5, just briefly Three until five. we get to okay. the... It almost feels like we're on land with how not rolly it is. All right, no jinxing it. Bridge! All right, our speed has increased. Roger. All right. You're making very pretty loops, though. Thank you. I am doing some zigzags, <laughs> and I'm staying in the box. <laughs> we really just wanted to give you more time to practice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I know, it's like saw the sandy bottom and you know it's like oh that's a bummer but then it's like but I might be able to get on <laughs> I can drive <laughs> I would say this is like so boating it's school but it's unfortunate for you guys but it's fortunate well, you for made you. it very chill oh. when Hannaford was like hey would you want to get in the seat and you're like um no I don't know maybe like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you if you're okay with it oh uh, me uh, yeah. little old me pretty much already there <laughs> I try and play it cool, but uh, inside I'm like, Wee! <laughs> <laughs> and instantly nervous. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> uh, Jess, when Jess was like becoming oh, a herc pilot, oh. I guess, when she was getting herc so time, we were all uh, we were we watched together. I split mm -hmm. it with her, mm -hmm. and like. I would generally say I'll take the first two hours, to give okay. and you take the second two. And uh, it, she was just intense, like within five minutes of go. coming up on the two hours, just staring at me. <laughs> it's time. Do you need a break? Do you want to get out? Do you need a break? No. <laughs> Mid sampling. Yeah. I can take over the hard work for yeah, you. I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. My turn. Thank you. So here's a question for y'all up front. How would somebody get to have your job of piloting the ROVs? How'd you get here is the question. You wanna go? I'll go first. Um, so two years ago, I went back to school and luckily the school I was at, uh, Northwestern Michigan College has a marine technology program and it really focuses on like a lot of seafloor mapping, sonar system, software, 
um, ROV systems. Like from day one, we were we were out on uh, Grand Traverse Bay. On uh, they have a 56 foot Northwestern vessel that can take out 20 people, and uh, yeah, incredible, amazing instructors and program there. And I started it and fell in love. And I applied for every internship opportunity and was lucky enough that my first year I was able to be matched with uh, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. And I spent last summer uh, with the ROV Jason team on the Pacific. And then through that, uh, I heard about uh, OET and I applied for the internship and I saw there was a junior ROV position and I applied for that as well. And what? now I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what was your time with Jason like? Yeah, working with Jason's awesome. It it was awesome. Um, we the first cruise we were around the Blanco fracture zone, uh, exploring, taking samples, kind of whatever looked cool. It was like, oh, grab that, you know. So that was really neat. And then the second one we were around Mount Axial, and we were taking down equipment and setting it up on benchmarks. Um, trying to get information so they can better predict uh, seismic activity or when the volcano might erupt, if that makes, mm -hmm. makes sense. Hopefully okay. I said that right yeah. and did it justice because yeah. yep. that was way oversimplified, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was awesome. <laughs> was it a great. similar similar role to this one for you? Yes, um, well, not so much. So I really got to oversee the like the maintenance, servicing, the up -top hydraulic. Stuff. Yeah, um, I was a co-pilot, but it was a single body system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Modified. jelly with full te mm -hmm. tentacles, yeah. yeah. And look at these beauties. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. They're the best. They look like, um, like cat toys. <laughs> like the, they have these like, um, these balls with like crinkly stuff on it. Oh yeah. Looks like that. Don't demote my sea dandelions to cat toys. <laughs> <laughs> Manifesting sea dandelions. All right, getting close. Mm -hmm. I actually have a cat toy at home that my dog loves playing with. <laughs> <laughs> Look. When were toys ever segregated by species? <laughs> when they put the label that said cat toy, <laughs> <laughs> dog toy. Well, they're silly. <laughs> no, I don't know, my dog would swallow a cat toy. <laughs> oh, that's real. Actually, he swallows dog toys, so. <laughs> Sounds like a general <laughs> issue. <laughs> My cat loves to chew things, and she is this like carrot dental toy, but I feel like I need to get her like a Kong, like chew thing. <laughs> I tried the Kong and everything. My dog just likes the regular stuffed mm -hmm. toys, either the one, they have to have the squeaker. If they don't have the squeaker, mm. he's not going for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not, and then he eats the squeaker. Oh, oh no. So it's like, sir, why? I'm gonna jump in on this dog dog discussion. My mm -hmm. dog loves her babies, lots of stuffed animals. <gasps> oh. And she'll like play with them for a minute or two, but then she has to take them back and like knead them like oh. a like a mama dog. It's like the sweetest <laughs> thing in the oh world. Oh my gosh. What type of dog? So she, I can visualize. She is a mix. Everyone thinks she's like a, a Dane and a lab mix. Oh. She's like your standard black with the little white on the chest and chin and toes. Yeah. Oh, so cute. So sweet. And she likes to sit with her legs crossed because she's a lady. <laughs> my, cat, my cat also crosses her paws. And she likes to sleep with her toys, too. She'll, like, put her face on, like, really uncomfortable toys. Don't know why, but very cute. Well, folks, if you can't tell, we've been out here for, uh, like, three weeks. And a lot of people are missing their pets. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Since day one. That part. <laughs> I had to give my cat Jack a good school use when I see him again. A good hug. Mm -hmm. He'll probably run away. <laughs> I 
Are there any questions? Nope, no questions so far, but if you are interested in asking us any questions about our expedition, uh, feel free to post them on the Nautilus Live website. We'll be here to answer them live for you. We are currently about 1,100 meters down the ocean surface, down below the ocean surface. We are descending to about a little under 1,500 meters. Do we know about, about how 1435. many dives? What was that? Do we know about how many more dives we're going to try to get in? Oh. oh, great question. We do know that, and I, I don't have that answer off the top of my head. But we're doing great. This one should be in total, so maybe on bottom around six hours, unless mm -hmm. we are seeing super interesting stuff and decide to extend it for another oh, four. Six. Yeah. Um, so six hours on bottom, eight yeah. hours overall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just asking, could we have like, after this one, we have like- Oh, you're looking at Herc diagrams. Yeah, we have like <laughs> three more Herc diagrams. Okay, so good to know, thank you. To maybe note that if we need more. Yes, note to self. Why? What's happening? We're about 10 minutes from bottom. Woohoo! So here's a question that came in. Mm -hmm. So have we ever considered illuminating the surroundings with uh, ultraviolet light? Many uh, things tend to be for us and under UV light. Uh, is that something that uh, we've done before or any other researchers have done before? Hannaford, do you have any knowledge of that? I, don't, I can't. Um, I just missed the, the most of what you said, Daniel. Can you repeat it? So, have we equipped the ROVs with uh, a UV light to check for, say, fluorescent minerals or, or fluorescent creatures? That's a good question. I don't know anything about that. I've never been on anything yeah. with that. Now, we have had, um, uh, what's his name? Bre Brendan Brennan? Uh huh. Uh, a scientist who spent a lot of time out here. I used to, I used to work or, or run the ROV department, I believe, mm. before my time. But he's come out here with a low light camera that, yeah. that could, like, we, we could get see bioluminescence quite well. I know mm. that's not exactly what you're asking, but um, I no, I, I don't have any experience with it. But it is that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. low light camera is the only thing that comes to mind for me yeah, as well. Yeah, Daniel. Uh, in fact, uh, you know. You guys haven't seen it yet because it's ultraviolet, but uh, our laser has a, on top of the green laser that you can see, uh, it has an ultraviolet uh, mm -hmm. mode as well. So, in fact, when we talk about seeing fluorescence in our spectra, it's exactly what the what the viewer asked. That's exactly what we're doing. We're exciting organic molecules uh, with ultraviolet. And in response, as a thank you, they give us uh, emission profiles that are we can use to identify the pigments uh, in those organics. Yeah. I like that as a thank you. Cool. This is mutual exchange. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give and take. So w one of the challenges, since we're on that topic, uh, of ultraviolet light in water is that uh, it doesn't travel very well. Uh, mm. It travels better than most people think. Uh, uh, we, we know that you know infrared light doesn't travel far at all into right. the water. Uh, green is the best light, that's why our laser is green, <laughs> and that's why the pointing lasers that you see in the top of the cameras of the ROV are green as well, because they allow you to go as far as uh, as you could. Uh, mm -hmm. Ultraviolet uh, still is transmitted quite well, and in our case, uh, down to 10 meters, uh, easy, no problem. So, uh, And we're using uh, 356 nanometers uh, ultraviolet, so it's not very deep. Uh, the deep ultraviolet uh, Lights that you can, you know, you've seen in CSI uh, and all the versions of that show uh, <laughs> for forensics. Uh, those are typically what's called a deep UV, and that's typically in the 250, 280 nanometer range. Those are very energetic uh, uh, lights, so typically you want to use caution when using those things. Uh, and this is why you use sunblock in the sun yep. <laughs> to protect against those. Uh, this is, I think it's commercially it's called the UVC 
range, right? So uh, these are the ultraviolet things that will fry your skin. So uh, yeah, you can use that for science as well. But uh, yeah, that's what we do. Thanks, Pablo, for that. So another question coming from Switzerland. When, say, the ship's main engines are off, how noisy is a ship? How noisy? Yeah. Depends where you are on the ship. It's generally pretty quiet seeming right now, but if you're living, if your uh, stateroom is anywhere near those bow thrusters, it can be pretty, pretty loud. Yeah. Yeah. Which mine is. Which mine also <laughs> is. <laughs> um, yeah, also the control van isn't actually that loud. It's just the ACs that are always going to keep the computer school. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet in here. As far as sound that we give into the water, we also we have a lot of sonars going, so our vehicles are tracked um, by like echolocation, like kind of like bats or whales do. And we, the vehicles themselves are loud, and they also have sonar. So, right. Mm -hmm. Overall, the system's pretty loud in the water. We're very confusing. Yeah. Disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> when the high voltage goes on on the ROV, that is like, I can't describe the sound, but it's mm. very high pitched. <laughs> Slightly concerning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep. I never really noticed that noise so much for some reason. That doesn't like when it turns on, like right when it turns mm -hmm. on, there's like a really high pitch. Yeah, like I, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. We're about five minutes from the bottom. Not, not tracking bottom yet. Quite. Should, should get it in a minute or two here. Oh chunky thing in Atalanta camp that just went by. I'm absolutely, well, I guess it's not that bad actually with the way our watch is. Like, I was gonna say I'm dreading getting used to Eastern Standard Time when we go back, but... Yeah, I guess you might... It's, no matter how you cut it, there's some kind of a, like, some an adjustment. Issue. <laughs> yeah, going going east, I go, like, way to the east coast. Going back east is always really disruptive. Yep. Yeah. We're six hours behind. Yeah. let's see you've been waking up at noon so you're like waking up at like 6 p.m you know yeah. <laughs> oh my god you're right <laughs> yeah my family it's uh as soon as i wake up it's like dinner time for them or mm -hmm. time to go to bed yeah I, i've been having to troubleshoot some things because i'm moving i think argus is now pinging for like 80 meters just under yeah oh yep we just got bottom there you go there you go. 70 meters off bottom. 70 something.
It's been very flat here. Oh yeah, we're not seeing anything popping up in the sonars. No. Just stop up when you get to 20 meter altitude. Okay. So we've got right. about 250, 300 meters of this flat Stop. stuff before we get to the slope. Okay. Um, start off at point two, maybe adjust to point three as we go. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Uh, 